Hello Vogue, this is Penelope Cruz and we are at the Cannes Film Festival with our movie Pain and Glory. I decided to wear Chanel um, for many different reasons. It was very emotional to wear that dress from the last collection of Couture from Karl Lagerfeld. They remade that dress originally was pink and they remade it in this color. I was wearing diamonds from Atelier Swarovski collection, new pieces that we have designed together. I think they are one of the two brands in the world that can create this gem in a laboratory. You know it is 100% clean, 100% ethical thing. The important thing is that if we all do something, then we can all contribute to a change because it, it could recover quicker than we think. Uh, so there is still hope, but this is not a joke anymore or something that some actors and musicians talk about like for a couple of years and then it will be forgotten. It, it's not about that, it's really the only home we have and, and we have to protect it. Well, it's very emotional because I'm there with Pedro, you know, I've been in the festival so many times with Pedro over the years. I have great memories from being here with him. I'm really happy for him because he made a very personal movie and shared with us so much intimacy. And I feel that's very brave, you know, for a filmmaker to put his heart in, in a film that way. I love the equilibrium of the festival in terms of being almost like being inside a Fellini movie. The people that make all the decisions about the selection, like Thierry Fremont does an incredible, incredible job with this festival. So it is the, still the number one festival in the world. It's really respected and it's, you know, it's a serious thing when you come here with a movie in competition, it's scary because you never know. I've been in both sides, you know, I've been in movies that have been very well received and it's a great feeling. And I've been in ones that were not well received and they can be extremely tough. And at the same time, it, it has this other side of like glamour and how the marriage between fashion and, and movies is still working and stronger than ever. And it's very interesting to see because it's like, um, also like an old-fashioned feeling. I would probably have been a dancer because I trained for 17 years, or a doctor because I love uh, reading about medicine, and that's my number one hobby. <laughs> oh, pain and Glory, last night I saw it for the third time, and I cried again. I, I didn't expect I was gonna cry again. This one has a very romantic kiss between the character of Antonio and Leo Svaraglia. It's a very strong kiss between two men that is shot in a magnificent way. That is one of my fav favorite scenes in the movie. In a way, dealing with things like, like this, no, when you have a press day, the attention is put on you in a different way than when you are on the set, because when I'm on the set, I feel you know it's, we are a team a team on the same boat, working together in the same direction. And I love that feeling of teamwork. But then in situations like this, you're here selling a movie, talking about a movie. When you love the movie, it's great, it's easier. Sometimes maybe you don't feel like that. And do you have to lie? Yes, maybe a little bit. <laughs> so I've been in all those situations. And days like this, where also you have to change, you know, many times in two or three days. Like it's a lot of the time goes into hair and makeup, and, and that's not my everyday life, you know. It, even when I'm in hair and makeup, I'm studying, I'm reading my books here, or I'm organizing all the things for my kids, and just organizing. I cannot be there looking in the mirror. And there is an aspect of that, you know, getting ready for the red carpet. There is a part of that that, of course, I think we all like, because we get to work with amazing designers. It becomes like a healthier feeling when you go up a red carpet, you know, really acknowledging and thinking about all the people that has, have contributed to create that dress or those jewels. They have done an amazing job and you are lucky to be able to wear it. And then you give it back and go back to your jeans and your normal life. <laughs> and this is good. <laughs> <laughs> 
well, I would have a big problem if that, if that was the case. I have my life, my family. I have to work really hard on myself, you know, like since I was a little girl, I didn't make it easy for myself. So I'm in constant research and trying to understand a lot of things about myself. And then I play these other characters that give me the opportunity to fly and to do the fascination of the studying human behavior. That's what acting is. So that's why this job makes me so happy because I can always keep learning about that. We, I never get to a place where I feel like now I have it under control, I could play any character. No, it's like every time I start from zero.